up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've made my last video, but for those of you guys that are new here, my name is Christina and I make videos on everything beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And today I have a lifestyle video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys what I keep in my work bag. I've been seeing a lot of what's in my bag videos on YouTube lately. You have come back. Uh, it's a classic video. It's an old kind of YouTube video that a lot of YouTubers have made in the past, but I've just recently saw it gain more popularity on YouTube. So I thought, why not show you guys what I keep in my work bag since that the kind of bag that I tend to carry on most days when I work Monday through Friday, my nine to five as a school counselor. So I wanted to show you guys what I keep in my bag. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go check out my Instagram page. I'll leave my handle somewhere here on the screen, but I try to post every single day, um, at least on my stories. Um, but yeah, if you wanna keep up with me in real time on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing what I keep in my work bag, just keep on watching. Start off, I wanted to show you guys what my work bag is. It is, I don't even know the exact name of this bag, but it is Longchamp. Um, and I got it from Nordstrom but it's the all black color. I usually don't flip it here at the front, but it's the classic long champ bag in the all black. I just feel like it looks super sleek and goes with all of my outfits and also holds a lot. There's a lot in here, but I honestly haven't touched it since the last day I worked, which was yesterday. It's currently the weekend. Yeah, I really love this bag. This is my second year of work using this bag and I love it. I don't know, I don't know if I wanna switch out with another tote bag, but currently I'm loving this long champ tote bag. I love how there's a zipper on top, um, so it keeps all of my belongings intact and kind of organized. But yeah, let's start off by seeing what's in here. All right, the first thing I wanna show you guys that's in here is my laptop. This is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is 13 point something inch. This is like the second to newest one that they came out with um, before they just release the current newest one that they have. Um, and the case is also Apple. I do get a lot of questions about this case and where it's from. It's from Apple and it's the leather case. It comes in black. I believe like this brown and black as well. It's just a sleeve, so it doesn't cover this part of the laptop, but a nice little sleeve and it's very neutral, which I like, but yep, just my MacBook Pro. Um, I use this for work. We don't have desktops at our school or in my office for privacy reasons since we uh, share spaces with a church. The next thing in my bag, um, is my planner. This is my work planner. I know you guys have seen my A5 planner <laughs> leather bound one, but that's like my lifestyle personal planner. This one is my work one. I just got it from Target. Um, this is a to-do list <laughs> from the last day that I worked. But honestly, I'm not really a sticker person, but I really wanted to decorate my work planner for some reason. I didn't like the logo it had on here. So I wanted to cover it up, but these are just some stickers that my students give me and I just think it's really cute for work. Um, and the front part of this, the clipboard, I don't really use it. Yeah, this is the weekly plus monthly teacher lesson planning calendar by Day Designer. I just got it from Target. I don't know if they currently still have it, so I can link it if I find it down below, but I just like the simplicity of it. Let me show you the layout of it. So let me show you November since I haven't written in it. This is um, at the front of every month, they have a full calendar. I really like how big this is um, compared to my lifestyle planner where it's a little smaller. I feel like I have a lot more things to write about for work. Um, so I like having a lot of space for that. Um, I've also mentioned on my Instagram that I'm a tactile learner. So I still like to write down things in planners rather than type them up on like Google Calendar. I don't know, it just works better for me to write it down. 
um, but there's also the tabs for each month on here. Um, and then as you get to the weeks, this is what it looks like. So you plan out the time of day and then the days of the week. And yeah, it goes by period here. I do work at a high school, so we do have six periods in a day. Although I'm not, I'm a counselor, I'm not in class all day. There are certain times where I do go with students during their periods in their classrooms. So yeah, that's my work planner. Um, and that's what I usually hold in my bag every single day. All right, moving on. I have my A5 planner that I customly put together with inserts from the line. If you want more detail on my A5 planner, I do have separate videos on that. So feel free to check those out on my channel. But yeah, my lifestyle planner that I have here that I've featured a lot on my Instagram, also here on my YouTube. But yeah, this is something I also always carry in my work bag. All right, I like to keep separate pouches for different things. So I have a few pouches here. I usually get all my pouches from Amazon or Daiso. I can link them down below if I do find anything similar on Amazon because I don't know if Daiso usually carries the same things like throughout the year. But starting off with this first pouch, this is my tech pouch. So I keep things in here from chargers. I have my MacBook charger. I have a wireless mouse. I usually don't really use this to be quite honest. I have another laptop charger. This is a charger for my laptop that my school gave me, but I only really use it to print documents from. I don't connect my personal laptop to the printers at work. So that's what I usually use it for. And then I have this like microfiber um, hand cloth that I just use to wipe the screens of my laptop. That comes in handy sometimes. What else do I have in here? That's pretty much it. So this is my tech bag. Um, nothing fancy, but I really like this bag from Daiso. It's kind of like a mesh squishy jersey material. That's my tech bag. I usually have like an iPhone charger in there too, but I had to take it out because the one in my car broke. So I'm using that wire in my car now. But um, the next pouch honestly has just a bunch of random planner things. This pouch is also from Daiso. I can link similar ones down below from Amazon if you guys are interested. But this one is more of like a frosty looking pouch, kind of jersey looking like um, but in here what do I keep I have another pouch and these are filled with highlighters these highlighters are also from Daiso um, I could take some out for you guys honestly these aren't the best highlighters but they look the colors looked cute from the outside but yeah they're not the best. I'm probably gonna order different ones on Amazon. I'll link some of my favorites down below on Amazon. I've mentioned them in my planner videos too. Um, but I saw these at Daiso. They look, the colors look cute. Tried them out and they're really not, they're nothing special. They're not that great. But yeah, I keep that in this bigger pouch. What else do I have in here? Honestly, it's a bunch of planner things. So sticky notes, tracing paper sticky notes, really aesthetically pleasing. Found these at Daiso transparent sticky notes. This is also transparent, but they're in a like a pinky neutral color. This post-it stack for the longest time. It started off as a really huge chunk, like kind of like that big, but yeah, I've, I've had it for a very long time. More post-it notes. These are from cloth and paper and neutral. Also from cloth and paper. These are also from cloth and paper. These like tab sticky notes. I have dot stickers, so from cloth and paper, and um, this notepad, sticky notepad with lines on it. Planner stuff, sticky notes, post-it notes, highlighters, all in this pouch. All right, the last pouch I use pretty much every day because it holds my pencils, my pens, scissors, and a sharpener. But this is, it's pretty dirty because of the sharpener. But this is also from Daiso, this pouch. I really like their pouches from Daiso. I could find some similar ones on Amazon. You can also just check out your local Daiso if you have one near you, but I like this pouch a lot. 
Um, so I keep a pencil case in this pouch. Um, this pencil case is from Daiso. I like how neutral it is and how it's a hard case. But I keep like fancy drawing pencils in here and erasers. When I get bored, I sketch. But yeah, everything in here, the pencils are from Daiso, pens are from Muji, highlighter, Sharpie, but yeah, that's all I keep in there. I have scissors and sharpener in the front. It's hard to see, but those are all from Daiso. That's that. Let's see what else do I have in here? I have a plastic bag. Don't know why. It's an empty plastic bag, but I should probably not keep that in my bag. <laughs> Pretty much it in the big pocket. I just have like little things now in the small pocket. What do I have in here? I have a lip liner. It was in like the small pocket in the purse. Some mascara. I know this is dried out because I don't use it. I don't know what it's doing in my bag. I will just throw this out. Yeah, that is dry. Old mascara. Some hand sanitizer. Honestly. I don't know how I feel about these Touchland hand sanitizers. I'm just, I just keep it in my bag just to use it up so I can throw it out. I don't know. I, I think I'm just gonna stick to Purell. My work keys, I keep it separate from my house keys and my car keys just cause I hate having like bulky keys. But this is my school lanyard. This is the CPR face shield and then keys to my office. It's cool on here, so. I always keep that in my work bag. Trader Joe's receipt. Um, and a permanent marker, a palette marker. Uh, I think a colleague or a coworker, another teacher gave that to all the teachers and I just kept it in my bag. I use it sometimes, but not all the time. Um, yeah, that's what was in the small box. So that is all, that's all that's in my work bag. Nothing too exciting, but hopefully you found some useful organization techniques with how I put everything in pouches. That's how it, it keeps my bag kind of clean and organized and easy to put things into and easy to find things. Okay, so that is all for a what's in my work bag video. If you guys found this video helpful or fun to watch or interesting to see what's in my work bag, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe down below. If you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comments, but I had a lot of fun showing you guys what I have in my work bag, sharing more organizational things, more planner things. I know you guys love that. Thank you so much again for watching and for tuning in, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.